Marion walks into the bar. Music has been a large part of my life since I was about 13. I started playing guitar when I was 13 and started writing songs when I was about 15. I just got back from tour and I always come back to Brooklyn and feel and feel this sense of relief. Like, oh, this is my home. I think that it is about like just the sense of community and, and place. I definitely got back when I was like, oh, yeah, this feels a little bit like I don't have to explain anything. I don't have to like expect any looks or something. Marion walks outside the bar. Tonight, we are having this awesome event as part of Brick's Stoop Series, and I'm super excited about it. We have five performers, uh, my best friend, uh, Alyssa Robbins, um, and then three other really close friends. Francis Rodriguez, who's in Frankie and the Momos, Maya McDonald, who's in Kid in the Attic, and then we have Emily Belegas, who's in a really awesome country folk band called Kings. So there's some like really good variety between indie, indie folk rock and country folk and indie pop. And the city is crazy, oh I don't care. If I don't know her, cause she looks like wheat. She smells like the Kansas breeze. I talk to Julia every day. <laughs> I get probably about 20 texts from her per day. Uh, so we are very close friends. Julia roped us into the show. Tonight's show is um, singer-songwriter type. Yeah, I just met these folks last week, uh, and everyone is really uh, wonderfully talented and smart. It's called Queer Indie Folk Songwriter Circle, so the idea is that uh, I'll play a song, and then the next performer will base their song choice on like whatever my song inspires. Crap! Remember we talked about how we weren't going to decide what we were going to play and then now we're playing yeah. and I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the idea was to do it spontaneously yeah. but also we all had songs in mind that we were going to play. <gasps> I, I, mean, I just full disclosure to the audience. Queer to me means a lot of different things. It's an identity but it's also for me it's a large, a large part of it is about breaking out of the boxes that we create and even even the queer boxes that we create for ourselves. Queer is kind of a take back term used to encapsulate all people that feel different or feel like not the norm. Just past arms. Just past arms. I like identifying as queer because of how it sounds when it comes out of my mouth. Queer. You just past arms. Just dissolves the idea of a gender binary, which is really important for me. Queer. It's like an umbrella term and also it's like a big hug. <laughs> it's kind of like, come on in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Everybody's weird. It's a good word because it, it, it accommodates kind of a lot of different uh, gender identities and, and sexualities and uh, for me it's the only one that ever felt like made any sense. So. God, you're really good at this. Can you get that? Can you make sure you include that part? <laughs> <laughs> to me, being queer is about queering queer. <laughs> well, she took the perfect game. People lump songwriters together in all these different categories. Um, and queer singer-songwriters and female singer-songwriters. I think that what's cool about this night is that we all are queer indie folk artists, but we break outside of like what might, one might think or the associations that you have about those, all of those categories. So I pack my bags and I'm on to another place. I think it's important just for visibility that we exist and that we're here making art, um, outside of even being queer or women, um, just that art is being made in Brooklyn still. Being able to afford an apartment here anymore is, is difficult, um, and that there's all this talk about how art is dead in New York, and we're still here making music. So outside of who we are, what gender we identify with, that's important to see. I think any kind of visibility for any way you identify, whether it be race, gender, orientation, 
it's important to be different yeah. and like wave your different flag. I would love someone who comes to this show to feel empowered and inspired to write music maybe or create any sort of art that they want to create, but also to just feel like that sense of cohesion and creative community. For all Brooklyners in this crazy, expensive rent world together. I want people who are like, not queer identified to come and be like, that was awesome. And like, you don't need to be queer to celebrate queers.